Hello, this is Francisco Cribari, and today I want to talk about uh, a new feature that was introduced by KDE Plasma 5.11. Uh, it's called Vaults. What it does is the following. It allows you to password protect sensitive uh, information. For instance, uh, you can place sensitive information and files into a folder or into several folders and you can password protect those folders. <coughs> Let me show you how that works. <coughs> uh, you first need to install Plasma Vault. Let's search here, Vault. <coughs> In Arch Linux and Arch Linux derivatives, the file is Plasma Vault. You can install using a GUI installer, a graphical installer, or you can install using command, li command line. For instance, here install, and I can install that, or I can install that via command line with sudo pacman dash capital S plasma dash vault. Let me install it from here. Let me add uh, those optional dependencies. And the system is now installing Plasma Vault. And now that's done, I will add the Plasma Vault widget to my top bar. Add widgets, search, vault. You see that now I have Plasma Vault here. So let's create a new vault. I'm going to create a folder where I can place sensitive files. Click create vault. You can give a name to that vault. <coughs> For instance, let me call that vault zero underscore zero one. You can call that documents, passwords or whatever. I'm going to accept the defaults that it offers me. Next. And then I need to specify a password that will be used to access that folder. I need to verify that password. Next. Next. Create. Let me take a look at that. Now you're in your home directory, you will find this folder here, votes. <coughs> and all folders that you create will be placed here. You see that uh, I can access files in that folder. Now I can place files there. The up arrow indicates that uh, the vault is visible. So let's do that. Let's create a new text file here. Say yeah, you want a file with your passwords, passwords dot txt, and then you create a file and then you place your passwords there. And after you are done, you just click here. You see that the arrow is now facing down. 
and the contents of that folder are no longer accessible. You see, if I click here, I no longer see the file. <coughs> if I want to access the files in that vault folder, I need to come here, click on the arrow, and supply the password that I, I specified when I created the vault. Maybe I mistyped it. Oops. I, I may have forgotten the password that I just entered when I created the vault. Yeah, yes, I forgot the. Let me create a new vault here. Create new vault, vault name, let me call that vault 02. Now let me try to remember the password. You see that vault 02 was created here and it should be accessible here. Create a new text file passwords.txt and let me Click on the arrow. So now I no longer can access <coughs> the files in that vault. Let me try to activate that. Let me see if I can now remember the password. Yes, that seemed to work. If I go to votes, I can now access <coughs> the files in this vault. Let me click on the arrow. It now faces down, which means that I can no longer access the contents in this uh, folder. Currently, there is no way to delete a created vote from here. From what I read, that option will be introduced in Plasma 5.12, most likely. But uh, there are ways that uh, you can delete votes via command line. Let me show you how to do that. You basically need to delete some files. You open a terminal. Let me start a new instance and uh, you basically remove i believe uh, let me see here you you remove let me google search that how to remove kd vote and there is a bug How to delete obsolete folders in Vault. 
and you, let me see that here you basically need to de de delete uh, these files here so let's do that let me delete uh, remove votes votes with uh, lowercase v in my case and vote zero one that's uh, a folder so rm dash rf i remove that and um, let me see if there is something else to remove dot enc and delete the vote entry in config plasma vote rc let me see vim config plasma vote rc see here that's vote underline zero one. Let me delete that. I believe so far that's the only way to remove a vote. But in the next version of KD Plasma, there should be a simple simpler way of doing that via the graphical interface if you look at the release announcement of plasma 5.11 you notice that they talk about uh, plasma vault and that's quite useful i believe you should be able to use plasma vault to password protect some sensitive files and information you may have a folder for your documents and other folder for your passwords and so on.